Well, good evening. Welcome to another edition of The Smoking Den. I'm your host for this evening, Smokey Dan. And tonight we'll be reviewing a Savinelli ELR Extremely Limited Reserve Churchill 7 by 48 inch ring gauge. It's on the slightly smaller side of a, uh, of a Churchill. Um, it's got a uh, Dominican uh, wrapper and, or excuse me, Dominican filler and binder and a Connecticut, a very nice Connecticut uh, shade wrapper. Uh, I smoked one of these many, many years ago, and I distinctly remember it being the second Savinelli I smoked, the first one being a Savinelli de Oro, which I did not like, and then this, which I just remembered being uh, quite a bit better. Uh, what I can tell you is this cigar is not actually made by Savinelli. It is made by Arturo Puente for Savinelli, much in the way that uh, all of CAO's cigars, as to my knowledge, are made by other people, such as Carlos Toronto. Um, Savinelli is one of those uh, funny cigar lines. They're not exactly common. Uh, they're not boutique brands by any, by any means, but you're not going to find them at every tobacconist. Um, I'm going to light this one up here. Uh, Savinelli also has the distinction of uh, having a lot of uh, a lot of other sort of high-end accessories, lighters, ashtrays, uh, pipes, um, pipe tobaccos. and then a, a limited range of relatively expensive cigars. This cigar retails around nine dollars. A bit like, uh, a bit like Dunhill. A first impression is, is this is a very, very mild cigar, but it has It's got a lot of nuances to it, a lot of little complexities. I and mean, it's got a lot of the basic um, mild, good mild cigar profile in it. And some toasted nuts. Uh, creamy finish, some, uh, some herbal profile to it. Um, but it's, it's very, very delicate. It's like a little bit of, like just a touch of caramel, almost coming through very lightly on the top palate. And I, I'm guessing this is going to shape up to be a, a pretty complex cigar, which I'm actually, that excites me coming out of a very mild cigar. Because a lot of very mild cigars are very either one or two dimensional. And, you know, it's a pleasant experience, but it's nothing that's mind blowing. And, I'm hoping this is, especially for the price, it's going to buck the trend. Mm. A tiny bit of oh, like hazelnut, like like a hazelnut coffee coming in on the back palate. It's very, it, it's it's not really strong. It's certainly not overbearing, but it's there. It's, it's pronounced, it's, it's delicious. Um, I've obviously got about, ooh, that's tasty. I've got about six inches left to smoke before the verdict, so don't go anywhere. 
be right back in a couple of seconds to the YouTube screen. Welcome back to this uh, really wonderful verdict on this Savinelli ELR Churchill. I am really, really pleased with this cigar. Burn is pretty excellent. I've had to touch it up a couple times. Ash is beautiful, silver, and consistent. Um, and the draw has been pretty much perfect about it. Third of the way through the cigar, you know, it got a little bit slightly tough, but it evened back out. Um, and as far as the flavor goes, just a really complex overall profile. I mean, it's just that creamy, mild uh, um, sort of profile with. Plenty of, of, uh, of toasted nuts coming through, and a little bit of spice in the back palate, a tiny bit of cinnamon, and just a, just a touch of heat coming through on the top palate, but it's almost a good heat, like it's a little bit of almost like a jalapeno coming through, that I've never really tasted in a cigar, especially a mild cigar, and I'm not used to uh, mild cigars, and I think I mentioned this before, being quite this complex, it's just really terrific really elegant throughout. Mm. A touch of hazelnut in the front palate, it's, 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 it's just, it's superb. Um, at $9 a pop, it's not a, an inexpensive cigar, but um, I'm still going to recommend it. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's, it's one of the best mild cigars I, I've ever had. It's, it's just fantastic. And I'll tell you what. Um, my tobacconist, where I live now, is having these on a, uh, a BOGO offer. Um, buy one, get one free. So I'm picking them up for... 475 and you know I don't know if your tobacconist is doing that but I recommend uh, running over and seeing if they are if they are you know I definitely plan on, on picking up a few more of these bad boys you know that's a lie I can't even this is too mild to call a bad boy that's like uh, calling Alan Alda or, or Fred Rogers a bad boy <laughs> you really can't but it's so damn good that I do plan on picking up a few more and I recommend seeking one of these out. You know, if, if you're a regular cigar smoker, a perfect morning cigar. Mm. Just such a lush, lush smoke, especially for, for as, mild, as uh, mild as it is. Um, but anyway, I recommend picking one up and until next time, keep smoking whatever you're smoking, and we'll see you around.